guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different from my usual videos because I'm going to be sharing with you my wood carvings. And this is a hobby of mine and I've done a few pieces so I thought I would share them with you. A little bit of my wood carving history. I started carving in November last year so I haven't even been carving for a year yet, so when I show you my pieces, don't judge me too harshly. I started because my poppy is actually, my dad's dad, is actually a really talented woodcarver. And so I've seen tons of his pieces. And one day he just asked if I wanted to try woodcarving because I've always been into like arts and crafts and that kind of stuff. So I said yes and I was actually really nervous because I was pretty scared around knives. So I was really scared that I was gonna cut myself and I was told obviously that that does happen sometimes. So I was really nervous about that but I still went along with it. I wanted to try it anyway. I'm very, very glad that I did because I enjoy it so much. So I'm gonna show you my pieces and I'm gonna to try to do them in order. So like the very first ones that I did to the last piece that I've done. I think I can remember the order that I've done them in. So the two very first things that I carved are just two little things and they were sort of good to start off with to get used to the knife and how to hold the knife. So the first, very first thing that I did is this goose. And it's a simple thing, but it kind of shows you different techniques. It says 2013 on the bottom with my initials. So I have that forever. It's funny looking back on these pieces because back then I thought, oh, I really did a good job, which I did. But now I look back at them and I can see where I can improve them, which obviously I won't improve these because it's good to keep the first pieces to be able to look back on and see how much you have learned. So yeah, this is the first one, it's just a really simple goose. And then this is the second thing I did and it's a mouse and it sits on like, it can sit on a picture frame or a door frame or whatever you want. And I think it's really cute. It, it did have another eye but my cat weirdly enough, knocked this off my chest of drawers and its eye fell out, so I have to fix that. My puppy has carved a lot of these before and we actually have some in my house from ages ago when he gave them to us. So I was really excited to be able to carve my own and I can see a lot of ways that I can improve this, but again, it was my second piece. So those are the very first two things that I started to get used to the knife and then I stepped up a level and I wanted to do a relief carving. So this is the very first relief carving that I ever did, my third piece of work. And it's a, just a scene where, with a bear, a tree, and the water. And this was one of the pieces that I entered into the wood show. I didn't win any awards because I definitely didn't think I would because there are really good carvers out there. But I really like this piece and I'm really proud of it. So after I carved that relief carving, I decided to go back to carving something a little bit more smaller and I carved this dog, which I think is really cute, but I still haven't added eyes to him, which I carved this a while ago now, but I just never came around to carving eyes on him, but I will do something with these eyes. And I think he's kind of cute. Then I carved a chopping board. I carved the mouse and cheese on top. Then I wanted to do like a little painting on my carvings also, like experiment with that. So I carved this butter knife and it's a chicken, a rooster, and I painted it afterwards. Then I wanted to carve like another, a little bit of a bigger piece. So I carved this, it's a leaf with a wolf howling at the moon. And I just put it on this really thin canvas and painted the background like a dark bluey grey kind of colour so it can stand out a little more and then gonna hang it on the wall but I just haven't gotten around to hanging it on the wall either. The next piece I carved is well me and my poppy we wanted to try out using the wood from my property that I live on to see if it carved well and we decided to make walking sticks. I was learning how to do um, like wizard faces so this is my first wizard face. I've practiced a little bit before doing this one, but not too much. But I think it turned out 
still pretty good. It's really long. We decided to keep like the bark on it to make it still natural. This is him, if you can see him. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Then we put this handle on it, and this handle is really difficult to put on, like wrap it around. But we eventually got it. And then at the bottom we put this stopper so you can like actually use it. I think I may have forgotten a few small pieces here and there. That's okay, I'm just gonna show you like the ones that I can see around. So then the next piece that I carved is actually another walking stick, but when I was first carving it, I wasn't sure what it was gonna be. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be a walking stick or like a mantle piece or something like that. But when I got down to the end of it, I realized that it would be really good um, top of a walking stick. And so I carved this owl. This is really hard to show you. And this one was actually really difficult to carve just because it was so um, weird to like hold while I'm carving it. And I actually did cut myself while I was carving this. It was on my finger here and it bled a lot. And I don't like the sight of blood so I pretty much fainted. And it was at my class, it was really embarrassing. But yeah, anyway, got over that and continued to carve him. I'm really happy with how it turned out so it was worth the cut. And then for the walking stick we used bamboo. So it's really nice and light. And I also entered this into the wood show and I had a few people ask about it but I wasn't there so I didn't get to like talk to the people but I was told that a few people asked about it which makes me pretty proud. Then after carving the owl I actually did another big project, well for me, and this one is probably the carving that I spent the most time on. And it was a little bit difficult because it's another relief carving which I actually really like doing relief carving but it's a very shallow wood carving and it's actually a paddle. And down here, I did the relief carving. I'm gonna try to show you. I don't think it all fits. Um, so as you can see, it's a fish and with the water, and these are rocks, and then up here is mountains. I'll show you a bit closer. And then I used like gold and silver um, stud button kind of things. And I did a little bit of wood burning on his like scales here which I don't know if I really like but oh but this piece probably took me the longest to carve. Then after carving that piece I wanted to do something a little bit smaller so I carved some spoons, wooden spoons which are a lot smaller. So these were pretty easy to carve and a lot of fun too because I got to paint them, which is always fun. Then, along with Christmas stuff, I carved these ornaments and the Santas. And so this is the first one. He's like a traditional Santa, the red hat. Then the sky. And the sky. And they were really fun to carve because I got to paint them too. And then I did one more Christmas thing and it's a, a Christmas elf. And he's really cute and funny. And I think that is almost everything that I've carved. So I hope you like this video and when I carve some more stuff I'll show you maybe again in another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!